hi everyone and welcome back to another video in this video today i'm going to be talking about how to buy and sell tokens on the sigma telegram bot now i've been using the sigma telegram bot for about a month now since the launch of the roost token and i can auto snipe i can copy trade i can set limit orders i can manual buy and sell i can customize my gas i can pre-approve my tokens um, for faster selling. So in this quick tutorial, which is perfect for beginners, even if you've been trading and you need a few explanations of really how it works, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to buy, how to sell, how to go through the settings and to customize your gas, your slippage, and so on. Now, just FYI, I have been making tutorial videos for the Sigma team, which is a good thing because that way I can show you more of what I've learned. So without further ado let's get started and by the way i do have my sigma referral link in the description box so do click on that link if you'd like to get started on trading with the bot now first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start your sigma telegram bot now you can start it two ways you can start it by clicking on this little icon here and clicking on the start or you can simply type in slash and start enter and there we have it. That is the main menu for the Telegram bot. And now here you can see Auto Sniper, okay? And Auto Sniper is for tokens that have not been launched yet, so it's not live yet, but you can set up orders for as soon as it goes live, then you're able to purchase those tokens. You have the manual buyer, which is simply buying and selling, but at record speed. So it's something like buying and selling as you would on Uniswap, except in the Sigma Telegram bot, it's super, super fast. Then you have positions where you can actually see all the positions that you have on all of your wallets. Now, copy trading, and this is to copy other traders. So if you have their address, then you can simply copy trade, which we will go over at another video. You have pending orders, and this is basically if you've set any auto snipe or if you've set any limit orders, okay, you'll see them in your pending orders. You have your settings that we'll go through later on, refer and earn. And so we have the backup bots, and for whatever reason, you might sometimes need to use the backup bots. Now we have language, English, Chinese, French, Espanol, and we can go back. Okay, great. So let's go over now some of these settings before we manual buy a token. If you click on settings, here, the balance of ETH, I'm on the base blockchain for now, so I'm going to see the balance of ETH on each of my wallets. I only have two wallets here. Wallet number one, I have 0 0.0018. ETH. Wallet number two, I have 0 0.015 ETH. You can see how much I have combined in both wallets. You can see the addresses of both of my wallets and the amount of Ethereum that I have on each wallet. I'm on the base blockchain, as you can see up here. If I wanted to create a new wallet, I can simply click on create, okay? And that will create a new wallet for me. Obviously, I'm not going to use this wallet because I'm showing you my private key. Now you have your private key where you're going to keep in a safe place. And here I've created wallet number three. So before I start using my wallet number three, I need to send some ETH to my wallet. Now to send funds to your wallet, you can use any centralized exchange like Coinbase, Binance, you name it. You're basically sending crypto from one address to another. So I'm going to send funds to wallet number two. In order to do that, I'm simply going to copy the address by clicking on it. So click. There we go. And my address has been copied. Great. Now I'm going to go onto my Web3 wallet. I have Ravi and I'm going to send some funds to my Telegram bot. Okay. So I'm just going to paste that address in there. Okay. I'm going to send the max amount and I'm going to hit send. Again, it's like sending crypto from one wallet to another. Very easy. Okay, so that has been done. You can simply go to wallets and there we have it. So here you can import a wallet from your MetaMask, let's say, onto your Sigma bot to use. So to do that, you'll just simply click on import. And of course, you'll copy the private key of the wallet you'd like to import. It's the exact same way that you would import a wallet onto your MetaMask or Rabi um, via the private key. Okay, so I'm not going to import a wallet right now, but that is how you can do it. Now you can retrieve your private keys over here. I can remove a wallet. So I'm going to remove wallet number three. Okay, just because. Okay, I can transfer. So let's say I want to transfer funds from one wallet to the other or from your Sigma wallet onto 
another wallet, okay, you can simply click on the from address and the to address. So here I'd like to transfer funds from, let's say, for example, wallet number one. Uh, and to keep it simple, let's transfer it to wallet number two. So how much do I have? I have 0 0.007, okay, in wallet number one. It's su such a little amount. I don't even think it's going to work, okay? So basically, it's quite straightforward to transfer funds like you would any other wallet. Sometimes you just need to read the instructions. It saves a lot of time when you click on something. It, it will actually tell you what's the next step to take, how to move forward, and things like that. Now, let's go into presets. And presets is where you would find your presets for your gas buttons, your buy buttons, and so on. So let's click on gas buttons. And here we have the preset for 0 0.20 GUI, 1 GUI, and 5 GUI. Now I can change that with, to whatever I want. So let's say, for example, I want to change 0.20. I'll click on it. And here I'd like to enter, let's say, for example, 0.3. And now I'll click on send. There we go. It's been changed to 0.3. So the whole idea here is that you can change your presettings to whatever gas amounts that you use very often on that chain. And another thing, by the way, each of these presettings are specific to the chain that you're on. So right now I'm on the base blockchain. So my gas settings that I've just changed is specific to the base blockchain. Same goes with the buy buttons. Okay, so let's go on to buy buttons. And here I have presets for 0.15 ETH, 2 ETH, 0.2 ETH, 0.3 and 0.01. Now, let's say I wanted to change 0 0.01 to maybe a 0.5, okay? Then I can simply click on it, enter my value, and click on send. And there we have it. Okay, done. Let's go back. And now we can go on to defaults. And defaults, you have this slippage, okay? You have this sell or GUI extra that you'd like to use. Uh, the approved GUI buy taxes for tokens that have buy and sell taxes. So you can basically set the maximum buy tax that you would like to buy tokens up to what maximum amount you have your sell tax okay up to what amount you have your minimum liquidity that developers can actually add to the liquidity pool and basically what that would tell you is you're not going to buy a token or you're not going to snipe a token if the liquidity pool is less than 250 so here you can set your liquidity minimum. And here we have the alpha mode. And the alpha mode actually disables all your security checks of the bots and lets you buy into high taxes, honeypots, blacklists, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, red is disabled and green is enabled. Okay, great. So now we're going to go on to back. And now let's go into chains. And this is one of the great things of the Sigma Telegram bot. You can use it for the Ethereum blockchain, the Avalanche blockchain, the Binance Smart Chain, Base blockchain, which is what I'm using it for right now, and Blast Networks, and Backup Bots. And basically, these are all the same bots. The bots are working on different servers. Your wallet addresses are there. Your tokens are there. Everything is there. Don't panic. They're all the same. Sometimes if the server on bot 11 is slow, then I can just, you know, go to bot 4. I can start bot 4. Okay, start. And if I go on to wallets, I have my two wallets. You're using the same bot with your same settings. Can't stress that enough. I think people panic a lot about that, but you're not using different bots and then you're going to lose your wallet and lose your funds and things like that. So yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm on the AVAX chain right now and I have zero funds. I'm going to go back to settings. Okay. I'm going to go back to chains and I'm going to go back to the base network. If you, you're on your Web3 wallet, and you send funds on the Avalanche network, you must be on the Avalanche chain on your Sigma bot for the funds to show. If you're on the Ethereum layer one network, then you need to be on the Ethereum chain to see the funds arriving into your wallet. Same thing with base. I sent from my base web three wallet. So I needed to be on the base chain to see that the funds are in my wallet. Okay, there we go. If I were to go on the Ethereum chain, okay, and I go to wallets, I have nothing because I didn't send any Ether Ethereum on the Ethereum blockchain, okay? And there we go. Now let's go back to manual buyer, okay? And in manual buyer, here it's asking me to paste a token address below to start buying. Now, depending on if the token is live or not, okay, it's going to choose for me whether 
I can manual buy or I can auto snipe. So if it's not a live token, okay, I can, I'll set an auto snipe order, okay? But if it's a live token, for example, on CoinGecko or whatever, wherever, I can, you know, choose to manual buy. But for this example, we'll do a manual buy. And for that, I'm going to go over to CoinGecko. Now here we have Proppy. I'm going to scroll down and I know it's on base. So under contract, I'll click on the three little dots here, get my base address, copy my base address. And there we go. Now we don't need CoinGecko anymore. I'm going to paste that into here. Okay. Paste a token in the address below to start buying. Okay. There we go. Paste. It is the correct address. And there we have it. Now what we're looking at here is the token monitor. So here we have the token name, the project name, Proppy. We have uh, what network it's on, okay, or blockchain. It's on the base blockchain. We have the token address. We have the pool info. It's coming from Uniswap version 3. The market cap of Proppy is currently at 17.9 million. The liquidity on Uniswap is 63.6 thousand, okay. And the transaction fees, which includes the Sigma transaction fees, your gas amount, everything is everything. at 50 cents. The token info is you have buy taxes for Proppy, 0%. You have sell taxes for Proppy at 0%, okay. Um, the, there is no maximum transaction from the project. And burnt amount of tokens, clogged amount is at zero. Now here we have my wallets. So I only have two wallets on my Sigma Telegram bot. Obviously you can create as many wallets as you'd like to create. Here it's telling me the balance I have on each of my wallets. So in wallet number one, I have 0 0.0007. Wallet number two, I have 0 0.015, okay? Monitor refreshes at every block. So I'll get new information at every block of property. I can click on here and go on to base scan because I'm trading this on the base blockchain. If you were trading it on the Ethereum layer one blockchain, you'll go to ether scan. Okay. So the explorer for each blockchain, then you have Dex screener. Okay. And Dex screener is where you can see the, you know, the charts and so on. Same thing. Dex tools is the same. It's just a matter of preference actually. Now here we have our presets and these presets again can be changed in settings. So I have 0 0.15, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and so on. I have buy maximum transaction or I have buy X amount of ETH. Wallet number one, as you can see here, is activated, okay? And wallet number two is disactivated. So I'm going to activate wallet number two because that's where I have my funds in, wallet number two. And I'm going to disactivate wallet number one because I don't have any funds in there. Here I have my three gas settings, my pre-settings, low, medium, and high that I could change anytime in my pre-settings. Or I can actually choose to customize my gas settings for this purchase right now. So you can click on gas and I want to customize that to a really low amount to 0.1. And that could be because I know, you know, there's no hype right now. Everything is calm and I can take my time to receive my tokens. The volatility and so on of the price is not a big impact. I'm not in a hurry to receive my token. I know I'll receive it within the next few seconds. So 0.1 is fine. I can even go lower, but... For this example, we're doing 0.1. And by the way, you can track gas prices or way on base scan or either scan or, you know, anything like one of those uh, reliable gas sources. Okay, so 0.1, send. And I've decided to purchase with a customized setting of 0.1. Now my slippage, I would like to change because I think 10% is high. So always verify how much you have slippage at, okay? And again, this token is not hyped. So here for my slippage, I'll put like my typical 3% slippage. So three, and there we have it. Now, if I wanted a limit order, and we'll just go through this setting really quickly before we buy the X amount, because after we buy X amount, well, the order has been submitted and we have the token in our wallet. But let's go over the limit order. Let's say, for example, you wanted to buy this token when the price goes down at minus 10%, okay? or when the price is at a minus 33%, the price is at minus 50%, or the market cap goes down to a lower amount. So right now we have a market cap of 17.9 million. Let's say I wanted to purchase this token when the market cap goes down to about 16 million. Well, I can simply click on market cap and I can enter the amount, let's say 16 million five hundred. There we go. 
And now, okay, as you can see here, when the market cap goes down to 16.5 million, my limit order will be triggered. But I don't want to do that right now. So I'm going to go back. Okay, now we've closed the limit order off. Every time you come back to this menu, make sure your settings, you know, your slippage remains the same. Make sure your gas, if you set it at a customizable amount, make sure it's the same and so on. Just, you know, double check to make sure. And so now we're back to the manual buyer menu. So let's go ahead and make that purchase now that we've spoken about all of these different settings that you can actually use in manual buying a token. And now we have X amount of ETH. And X amount of ETH simply means that I'm going to enter the specific amount of ETH I'd like to use to purchase the token. And I know on wallet number two, okay, I have that amount. So I'm just going to buy 0 0.014 worth of ETH. I'll leave a little for gas and, you know, whatever else. I'm going to click on send. Transaction pending and transaction has been confirmed. And there you have it in the blink of an eye. My transaction has been confirmed much, much faster than buying on Uniswap or sushi swap or any swap. And that is one of the reasons why I think it's so easy to use. It's fast, efficient. Keep in mind that when you use any bot as a security measure, you transfer out your tokens. Don't keep large amounts on any bot to mitigate any kind of risk. As you can see here, my transaction has been confirmed. Property based on, okay, this is the token address. Um, it's the block that it's on, the gas and the hash that I can see on base scan. Now, if I wanted to see my position, I can click on the little menu here and go to positions. And there we have it. Now, this is the position for all of my um, wallets. Now, let's say, for example, we wanted to sell that token. I can simply click on positions or type in slash positions. Okay. I can click on property, the token that I have in my wallet. Okay. And I can sell X amount. I can sell 10%, 50%, 100% of my bag. I can sell X percent amount of my bag and I can set my gas to whatever I want. I can set my slippage. I can set to sell it at a specific limit order. Now, let's say, for example, I'd like to sell when it goes up by 10%, 33% or 50% or the market cap. It's the exact same way it works as when you buy a token. The only thing now is that you're selling a token. So obviously you'd like to sell when the market cap goes a little further up. I'd like to sell when it goes up to about 50%. So when the price goes up to about 50%, I'd like to sell 50% of my bag. So I'll click on 50%. So first I select the price increase of 50% and I'll select the amount of my bag I'd like to sell. So 50%. And there we have it. Take profit order registered. Now, if I'd like to see where is this order pending, I can simply go to the menu bar and click on orders. And here I'll have all of my pending orders. As you can see here, this is my order. Now let's go back to positions. Let's go back to property. I can quick sell all of my wallets. All of my wallets will be just wallet number two because that's all the wallets that I have property on. So I'll click on quick sell. And there we have it, transaction pending. Transaction confirmed. Now, if I go to menu and orders, I should still have my orders. Okay. So I have two orders at 50% and 40% where I've decided to sell at a 50% increase. And I just quick sold 10% of my bag. And that is what I have for you today. Be sure to join me on another tutorial where I'm going to show you how to snipe a token that hasn't been launched yet. You're going to want to see this one. So stick around, like, share, and subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.